Hey folks, this is I with there and we're back playing some more World Tanks. Oops, as you can see, this is me in my ELC. Which rhymes, wasn't supposed to, but it's cool that it does. And this is, of course, another Ether Space. Before we get into anything else, I do want to say that Chief H2O is in his chaffee over here. And we were on a mission to cap out the game. So... Yeah, that's totally how this is good. Because <laughs> every mission totally goes exactly the way you want it to go, right? Yeah, well, you'll see how this goes. I'm going to yap on about stuff that's going on uh, in relation to the channel and everything else. So I'll let this play in the background uh, just as soon as I make sure everything's set up. So, uh, one note that I do want to talk about before anything else happens. Y you'll notice that... that these names are back. This is exactly the same uh, setup as I filmed yesterday's, or yeah, yesterday's game in. I literally recorded yesterday's game about five minutes ago. Nine, both through nine point five. Everything is exactly the same on both, except one of them it shows the names of the tanks in the map, and the other one it gets all black don't know what's going on. I really don't. Anyways, so, uh, what's going on with the channel? Uh, so, I missed Mondays, and I'm really sorry for that. The reason I miss Mondays is because I currently can't move. I finally found a job, an actual job, like, hopefully that I'll be there for like six to eight months, minimum kind of thing. So, I should have decent income now coming in and within the next month or so I should be able to pick up Photoshop again and then start actually giving you guys thumbnails. The flip side of that is that I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> uh, and yesterday, my very first day was a 10 hour day. The likelihood of me being able to record after that so that for the day after you guys have a video is very very tiny as in not very likely at all however what I'm gonna have to do for that is of course be smart and start recording a whole bunch of games in one day on the weekends so that you have actual content to watch through the week that's what's gonna have to start happening however because it didn't happen for this week I will get out as much content as I can this week. I cannot guarantee a full week. I probably will get three episodes or three videos out this week only. If I can get a fourth out, I will. I cannot promise anything. Um, <laughs> yesterday was literally eat, sleep, talk to my fiance, uh, or go to, or yeah, wake up. Go to work, come home, eat for like five minutes, talk to my fiance, sleep. Uh, and the last three things all happen within like an hour or two of each other. So, yeah. I'm not complaining. I love the fact that I have a job, and the job I have is in a kitchen warehouse type thing. Uh, makes a bunch of food fresh to order, which is really amazing. So every time I walk in... I get hit with the most amazing smells in the world, and I get really, really hungry every single minute of the day. But, it's good work, it's hard work, which means that my body hurts in many places I didn't know could hurt. Um, but, it's work, and it pays fairly decently, and I, of course, have the same amount of hours I can put in. So I can start saving up some real money and do some pretty cool things, like have a wedding soon, I hope. Um, okay, um, so that's pretty much it as far as the channel stuff goes. Uh, I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. And so we might as well jump in and I might as well narrate the rest of this game. So as you can see, we're losing. We're losing badly. And we have the enemy heavy tank in our base. Now, I decide I'm going to go cap, because even if I can only pull one or two enemy tanks to me, 
that will balance out the teams enough that our team might stand a chance. Yeah. Um, the other thing I can do is I can kill the artillery. And if I can kill the artillery, I can definitely start swinging this game more in our favor. So I was fairly certain that it was an RD over in uh, K0, which is why I'm doing all these chukes and stuff. Uh, and then I pop up here and I go, oh, hi. Did you see that shot? My entire reticle covered the freaking grill, and I missed that. Uh, I'm gonna have to jump in and insert a replay of that in slow motion right here. And you will see why I was so irked that I missed this shot. Anyways. So apparently they haven't noticed the fact that I'm here. We're going to flip back into first person mode. They still haven't noticed I'm here. And now the grill notices. And it's a bit late. Ooh, a little bit shy on the damage though. Uh, we're still in first person mode? No, this is fixed camera mode. Okay. So, the grill is trying to catch me. But of course, I've reloaded by now. And none of the rest of them have seemed to have realized that I'm here. So, ooh. Uh, nope. M41 noticed, but um, he rushed his shot and fired over the top of me, so now I should be able to reload before he does. He's just trying to run away, I think. Doesn't matter. He is dead, too. See, that snapshot worked. Now I gotta go find the last arty. Now, it's about this point that I realize the rest of my team is dead. And the M12 hasn't noticed anything. So, I don't know what the M12 was aiming at, but, I mean, he was look he was definitely looking over there. But I'm the only thing left on the team. <laughs> what was he aiming at? Anyway, so, I'm trying to use the carcass of the M41 to cover me from uh, the M12, who's actually doing some smart things. Now, he's trying to scout without um, killing, getting himself killed, so he's trying to light me and then move away. Now I'm zipping, or bobbing around here because I ex fully expect a shell to come over that ridge in a moment and land where I was last spotted. Which is why I'm over here. I don't want to be in the place I was last spotted, but I also want to be able to uh, get into cover at a moment's notice if something happens. Again, this is why I'm jumping back and forth because I expect a shell to land beside me at any point in time. He fires and he hits the hillside because uh, he must he may not have been paying attention to exactly where his reticle was. And so I'm just going to try and cap this out a little bit now. Now, I would like to kill him without a doubt. However, I'm not going to risk uh, too much to it get this kill so he apparently decides to charge into death so I helped him out with that and that is the end of the game and the enemy SU-100 finally gets back to base I don't know where he started his trip from but it was not close enough and that is how you pull off a victory when everything seems uh, to be lost on top of this awesome victory so I managed to uh, complete both halves of the mission I of course got my invader I didn't receive any hits during the enemy base cap so I got a perfect game uh, this was a ace tanker I also picked up a Pascucci medal for my work in killing all three artillery and I was one tank off of Kobanovs, and I was really irked about that. But, I mean, it, it was still an amazing game to win. And this is one of those times where, this is one of those ways you can pick up a Kobanovs without facing down an entire team. Uh, it's to sneak in and do a cap. Now, this particular time, I got to kill three artillery while doing it, which is so much fun. Um, and they definitely could have had me about four different times, but none of them were paying enough attention. So that's just great. 
and uh, yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, as I always write.